Well, good morning. We've got a uh, beautiful sunrise coming up. And, uh, we're starting to stay off early and uh, we're gonna put some slabs in the boat. See if some of these fall fish are biting after this water temperature has drastically dropped. Let's check it out. Thanks for joining me guys. We're gonna have a great time. Here we go. All right, guys, let's put some fish in the boat, shall we? We got a nice cool ride out here. This water temperature is gonna be super low. Outside temperature is roughly around 60 degrees. The temperature drops. These fish will definitely go back shallow. I'm looking for bait fish. So we're gonna kind of test that theory out today, but we're not gonna hang on to it too hard because we know we can catch them deep. Uh, deep being 12, 15 feet. So, but we're gonna do some exploring a little bit today just to see what's going on. Um, you know, the temperature, water temperature has dropped, you know, dropped probably about 12, 10 degrees in the last five, six days. So a lot of these fish are moving, which is actually another play. You could actually make another play with that. Um, you could do single pulling. Um, but a lot of these fish are definitely on the move right now. So check this out, guys. See how high these guys are up? These guys are all the way up at two feet. All these fish right here. We're gonna cast right into them here. And I've had to take, I take my split shot off just to make sure. There's one. Good fish right here, guys. Check that guy out. <laughs> And there it is. They really get after these these little hair jigs. That's a smaller guy. But this is that orange, green, and black that's on the website. This is a single. You can buy these in singles. <laughs> so, uh, like two dollars. So, I'm telling you, there's a variety of colors, and they're very inexpensive. And there's just great little baits, man. During this time of year, it's just amazing. Look at that. Getting bit all the time. Let's try the all. So here's the all white one right here. I definitely like this guy. Um, again, you can buy these in singles. They're like $2 a piece. But you can just try them out. Um, well worth it to get into hair. This to try some hair jigs inexpensively. But I like the all white because I really do think it pops under the water. Especially in the morning I like it before the sun gets high and there's our loop mount there we are ready to go we're gonna go all the way out there there we go first cast with the white picks one up it just it's a small guy again but I'll tell you what, this white one just really makes a statement in the water to these fish. And I've always found that in the morning, that is a great time to use that color. So the all white jig in singles, check it out. Um, but any of them for that matter, there's a combo pack, you can actually try them all. Look at this. There we go. Yeah. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. We like that. So again, I took my split shot off to really slow up the presentation so that uh, they, would, they would have time to react. And these fish are completely higher in the water column than we, we have been fishing. Look at this, man. They are all over this sucker. Look at this, constant. So we've caught, now I'm just start kind of moving up on them. 
That's a good fish. That's probably second best of the day right there. Look at these fish right here, guys. They are just literally, and all I'm doing is just vertical jigging this sucker. This nice little pitch and, and just feeling. Now, the sniper braid is super sensitive, so I can just keep that down there with them, and I'm just feeling them whether or not they tap onto it or not. There it is. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this white jig is absolutely on fire. All right, so in great three pound fishing fashion, even though we're getting bit right now, we could fill the live well up. We are gonna move. Of course, I'm gonna drop one more time though, but we're gonna move. Um, trying to figure out other spots, right? We are. Look at this. All right, we're gonna move. But look at that, incredible, right? Great fishery right there. Great fishery right there. I hope you guys can see Guys, that. before we move, don't forget hog fishing. Incredible. I've netted quite a few of these fish today with this with this uh, net here. And this is the one we use in the tournaments. Uh, it's always on my boat, it matches my boat. It looks awesome. There's the decal down there. Check them out at hogfishing.com. You're gonna get, be able to mat, match anything you need, 125 variations. You can change the, you can actually change the net. You can change the hoop. You can change the handle. Everything could be modified. We got a great uh, red, white, and blue. If you're, you know, a patriot and you want to, you want to sport that off. Um, I'm just telling you, you can buy all the components independently and put it all together. Some are already pre-made. Let's catch. Them. There we go. First cast in. Mm. Yeah, definitely know the pattern right now. Crazy, crazy good. It's a very quick bite. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a good fish. Good eater fish. Good eater fish. All right, we're just catching fish everywhere. Let's move. That white jig is on fire. I don't think we're gonna have a problem catching fish. Now guys, as I, uh, as I leave this cove, uh, it's just, you know, I love this. And just, you know, finding places that have, you know, a ton of, a ton of structure is a, is a massive deal. And so, Especially on guide trips, we want to be efficient, right? So we want coves that have just a little bit of everything, and you know, it's a it's an important part of fall fishing if you want to be efficient. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's hit our next spot. What a great bam! Beautiful fish right there, guys. That is a fall slab. Great fish. Let them go, though. This is a good fish here. This is a good fish. Supermodel, long and skinny, baby. Long and skinny, but great fish right there, guys. Wow. All right, guys, that's gonna end it today. But I'll tell you what, what I took home from today, this morning, we only were only out here about an hour and a half, uh, is that hair jigs really worked. You got to, sometimes you just gotta take that split shot off. They want it slow, they want it floating around and all that great stuff. And without a doubt, with this cooler weather, I know the fish are getting more active, but gosh dang. That hair jig was on fire. So you can check out all those hair jigs on the website. They're very inexpensive. 
$2 a piece. You can buy a combo pack for like $7 or something ridiculous, four of them or something. Uh, just check them out. Hair jigs are, are definitely a, a great play during the fall. Um, I think they really do like it. We proved it today. Those fish are going to come up shallow. You can catch them anywhere though, but today we definitely caught a ton of fish shallow, two, two or three feet below the surface. So, and managing that depth is important. So, have a good one. Have a great one. And please share, like the video. Have a great one.